Hey everybody on YouTube, Hello Bella here. Just wanted to come to you with a video about a little update on the business as far as Amazon FBA goes. So I recently disposed of 326 items. A lot of you guys know that in February the long-term storage fees come around. Um, and I just had a lot of stuff in stock that, you know, I'd probably paid you know a quarter of 50 cents for stuff and it just wasn't moving and I didn't want to get charged fees on it so I actually just made the move to dispose of 326 units um, right now I'm putting this in my spreadsheet to show um, the inventory disposal of 326 items at 15 cents each for disposal costs so it cost me $48.90 to dispose of everything um, so that brought my um, active inventory down to around let's see I think I have around a little over 500 items in active inventory right now it's faster for me to check on the app so let me do that 539 offers so 539 active items right now sitting at two thousand eight hundred sixty two dollars in sales for um you probably can't even see that but anyway sales for the month two thousand eight hundred sixty two dollars pretty good month so far i will definitely break three thousand for this month so um, not crying about that at all, um, especially since I've got so many other things going on. But with the long-term storage, um, you know, you can keep stuff, but with with the cost of books that I get, books is you know, ten cents, twenty-five cents, fifty cents, maybe a dollar. It's just not worth it. So, um, and in transitioning forward, I'm definitely trying to have a quick turnover rate. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to hold on until Christmas and you know get the most possible money for. Um, but I'm just trying to be a little bit more strategic about my um, business right now. I went to see my accountant yesterday and I had my taxes done so I actually probably will make a video about that um, I'm I'm pretty transparent with you guys but in profits or my net income was around fifteen thousand dollars after all um, or my taxable income rather after all of my fees and stuff from this past year which is pretty on point because I think my gross sales was somewhere around 30k a little over 30k so you know taking home about half of really are getting paid out about half of my sales sounds pretty accurate um, so that is the reason why this year I would really like to do 50k and that would give me about 25k net income and plus I've got some other income streams going on with merch and stuff so um, yeah it's just a work in progress but as far as taxes goes I wasn't paying my taxes quarterly because I didn't know what I was doing um, but um, I put a white I put aside 30 percent of every payout into a separate uh, account so that I could save it so I think I'm gonna have to pay somewhere around uh, $2,400 for federal and state income tax and for um, like being employed self-employed or whatever self-employment tax um, but we got a lot of deductions I was able to deduct my um, phone and my new laptop that I bought and my internet and my cost of phone service and my mileage and I got my IQ this year guys I would really recommend that you get my IQ if you do a lot of sourcing because it really adds up like just looking at my mile IQ from let's see this year I started in January so and it tells you you can classify things as business drives or personal drives and then it gives you a monthly summary of how many miles you drove for your business versus how many miles you drove for yourself so in January I had 129 drives six, 901 miles um, 63 of them were business drives and then it says that's two hundred and one dollars in taxable or in write-offs so February was a lot more February I did 157 drives with 92 of them being business drives I drove 1236 miles uh, that's $538 in write-offs just for driving so uh, I did do a lot of driving to Goodwill in Lawrenceburg I've been kind of obsessed with them ever since I found out that they did a 99 cent day for stuff so um, that's pretty cool but March, I've already gotten $294 in write-offs, so um, definitely take advantage of things that you know you get as a write-off because the big businesses, the big businesses know their write-offs and they're definitely making money of them. Here you can see the removal. I set up for automatic long-term storage removals. I'll probably turn that off now um, until it gets back around. But looks like right now I'm doing pretty well with that. Um, See, my next payout is only $270, but I just got a payout. Let's look at our transaction view for a second. 
uh, here we can see some of the things that I've been selling recently. Let's see, reimbursement, adventure Bible, pick that up for a dollar, sold for nineteen ninety nine. It's a pretty good profit there. Um, let's see, aircraft accident investigation. That's actually one that I bought from a thrift store in Italy and brought it home with me because it was worth the money. I paid like three dollars for it and it sold, so I got thirty five. Um, there is kind of an example of a bad retail arbitrage flip. I got these mugs for like $10. Not bad. I mean, I didn't lose money, but they just didn't sell for the price that I thought I could get for them. So I only made about 4 or $5 profit off of those from a $10 investment. So not the way I want to do business. Um, yeah, looks like I've got a couple of things selling off. But what I'm doing today is... Uh, Hey, oh, big old stack of books. I went to a fill a bag sale yesterday, um, and I bought two bags for five dollars each. They're actually like these big ass grocery bags from Foodland. I don't think anybody has Foodland, I think that's local, maybe. Um, but, anyways, big brown grocery bag, five bucks a piece. I probably stuffed at least 20 books in each one. So, what is that? I, I can't math. What is that per five dollars? You would think that I was just 25 cents a piece. Yeah, um, just a complete idiot at math, guys. I have to use a calculator for everything. I really envy those people who don't. Um, let's see. So at a quarter, you know, I don't mind selling these books off for, let's see, probably price that one around 950 Not a huge profit, but I'll definitely make money because look at the rank, 9800 9,484 ranks, so it's going to sell off really quick. Uh, just showing you guys this, my little process here. Um, and the great thing about these is they're not marked with any tags or any bullshit uh, prices that I have to peel off. That's one thing I hate about the other library that I go to. They put stickers on everything, and I'm just like, Every time I list, I'm like, God, this is so fucking tedious, but, um, real estate school is going pretty well. I went to my first class, uh, yesterday, no, day before yesterday, and I go back again today, so it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, and the things we're going over are just a lot of legal things, um, really not anything very interesting, and they you know, already told me that they're not even going to teach you how to sell a house. That's pretty much up to you to figure out. I think this is the seventh shipment this month. Let's check and make sure. I name all of my shipments so I can see how many I've sent out. Number six. Still hasn't gotten there. Yada, yada, yada. You can see all the shipments that I've had going out in the last, I guess, the last year. Yeah. So, yeah, this is all up until this year, January. Quite a few shipments. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm trying to shoot for 10 a month. Um, and when I say shipment, I'm just referring to a box that is around 45 pounds. That's usually, at that point, I just feel like it's, it's you know, best for me to go ahead and get the, the merchandise shipped out. Um, and that may not be the way that everybody does it. Um, it's definitely not because some people wait until they have a pallet. But as far as the workload on one person goes, I just feel like it's easier to do it in little incremental things. And you can see your progress that you're making. So... Yeah, that's just how I do it. Um, and today I'll probably, uh, I listed a few things on eBay. I'm trying to get my eBay inventory up to 100 items by the end of the month. Um, see how many, I think I have close to that already. I have 82 things listed right now on eBay. So, um, basically every time I see, every time my inventory grows, the sales grow. That's just kind of the name of the game on eBay is to, list more, sell more, I guess with anything really, but, um, with Amazon, I'm, I'm trying to transition into more retail stuff, but a lot of this stuff you have to be careful with because, you know, the, the price can tank so quickly on it, it just goes from, like, being a really worthwhile flip to being complete garbage, no prime offers on that. Shitty rank, I don't even know why I picked this up, I'm throwing that in the garbage, let's just 
garbage book. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is kind of a cool one. I think I might keep this to read it. A Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. I can't pronounce that because I'm Southern as fuck. But um, I want to say that I had to read an excerpt from this in college. And I thought it was really dark and twisty. And I liked it. Yeah. I don't think so. This is it, It's definitely one of those things that I'd be like, I'm going to read it. And then I'll never read it. Here's my accountant calling, so let me pause the video. Alright, uh, that was just them calling to say that my return is ready, and it's ready to be picked up and signed. So I guess that means they're ready to get paid, huh? Um, anyways. One day in... Shit. The life. Yep, there it is. And this is a old hardcover copy. Here we go. And that, I hate when that happens, when it doesn't match the cover. Maybe this could be it? Nope, also not it. This is one of the frustrating things about selling books. Oh my goodness, I need to take a shower. Uh, nope. Mass market. Let's try this one. Hey, there it is. Turn sideways. How do you like that? Just love that. Not the greatest rank, but at a quarter, I think I'll roll the dice on that. It actually is in really good shape. Oh, very good. Um, but yeah, that um, the taxes are done for 2017. The inventory's cleaned out. I've started real estate school. I've started my antique booth. I'm just fucking killing it. You know, I'm. I'm really happy with how things are going in terms of my career, business, whatever you want to call it. Um, there was a time where I just didn't know what the hell I was doing, you guys. I was, I felt like I was all over the place, if that makes sense. And I mean, I still feel like that sometimes, but for the most part, you know, I don't feel so clueless anymore. This is definitely a little bit of a markup there at one thousand. $376. Let's check out what else is on here. $29. Da, 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 da. And of course, it's going to have no place for me to sell it. I wonder why that is. That's strange. Sometimes you'll find a listing and there's no button for you to sell for whatever reason. It may be listed in some weird category or something. Totally unsure. Getting a lot of duds today. Maybe this one. Let's check the rank before we... No, I'm not even going to bother sending that in. Okay. Not tripping on that. Again, yesterday I filled up two bags for $10. I mean, I felt like I robbed them whenever I left. Because some of the books were already scanning in at like $30 lowest price. So, Let's see here. But yeah, that's really the bulk of what I have to discuss today. Um... I have school tonight, so I'm trying to get this stuff done, but at the same time, I'm trying not to deplete my brain because I've learned that I only have so much in here every day, and once it gets tapped out, it gets tapped out, and as far as fitness goes and business and learning, you really have to strategically align yourself to get things done during the day, otherwise, you know, like I'm, right now, I've been trying to go to the gym and watch YouTube videos at the same time, so I'm trying to learn about real estate, so I'm going and I'm watching, like, some interview videos while I jog on the treadmill, so I'm trying to pair activities together to be the most productive that I can be. But yeah, guys, that's really it for today. I just thought I'd give you a little update for those of you who, who care what's going on in the world of Bella. Um, this is it. This is the monotony that is reselling listing books on Amazon. So thanks so much for watching, and I will get back with you guys when I have some more interesting news. So take care.